was behind he was coming home pretty well on that occasion looks as though mirrors or west is going to go forward they're sending the way in the two and a half mile alana holmes champion novice hurdle grade one and the leader is Mirazur West, leading Ballyburn, Predator's Gold, White Cap of Staffordshire Knot, and then Jatara, dropped in the back marker is Jimmy Desoy, continuing on towards the first fly. In the lead is Mirazur West and Mark Walsh, from the short priced favourite Ballyburn and Paul Townend, over in third place, Predator's Gold, Patrick Mullins, already. Getting a shake up, Staffordshire not, Jack Kennedy on the outside, yet to warm to the task, and then Jatara, Nico de Boinville, Jimmy Desoy, Sean O'Keefe. Turning into the straight, having jumped two, it's Middlesbrough West leading by two and a quarter lengths to stable companions Bally Byrne, and Predators Gold disputing the fourth, Jatara and Staffordshire not, and looking on in last place is Jimmy Desoy. Reaching their final two miles. The flight coming up is the third, and it's Middlesbrough West, followed by Ballyburn, Predator's Goal, running the rail, the Mayor Jatara, on the outside, and the white cap Staffordshire not sixth of the six is Jimmy Desoy, as they go on away from flight number three. Little changes, it's Middlesbrough West by two lengths to Ballyburn. Looked a top class prospect when winning at Cheltenham, just shading the third as Predators Gold. And fellow Jigginstown runner Staffordshire Nod. Two lengths off them in fifth place, Jatara. And bringing up the rear is Jimmy Desoy, going uphill to flight number four. Middlesbrough West from Ballyburn, third is Predators Gold. Fourth, is Staffordshire Nod, and fifth is Jatara at the rear of the field. Trailing is Jimmy Desoy. Uphill they go to the next flight, the fifth. And it's Middlesbrough West, up and over from Ballyburn, who hit it. The safety to the other side. Then Predators Gold and Staffordshire, not Jatar and Jimmy Desoy. Downhill they go. In the last of today's great ones, the Alana Holmes champion of a hurdle over two and a half miles it's Middlesbrough West with a reduced advantage of a length and a half over Bally Byrne, two lengths off them discreeting the third, Staffordshire Knott and Predators Gold, the final couple of Jatara and Jimmy Desoy the downhill flight taking them towards halfway Middlesbrough West extended the lead with a good jump to three lengths over Bally Byrne, then Predators Gold and Staffordshire Knott, those two together and then Jatara and Jimmy Desoy End of the back straight they go. Another five flights left to jump. And yet to be headed, Middlesbrough West. Leads Ballyburn, Predators Gold, on the outside Staffordshire Knot, and then the bright orange jacket of Jatara, Jimmy Desoy, still trailing the field. The race directly across from the stands, they four flights left to jump. Middlesbrough West, by less than two lengths to Ballyburn, Together for the third and fourth, Predators Gold and Staffordshire North, Jatara, two and a half in front of the trailing Jimmy Desoy, as they jump that flight at the end of the back straight. Middlesbrough Rest establishes an advantage of two and a half lengths over Ballyburn and the Red Cap, and Predators Gold. Wider out to Staffordshire North, and then Jatara and Jimmy Desoy, as they come packed at the end of the back straight, the completion of the circuit. Three flights left to jump. It's Meadows or West. Stop by Ballyburn. This has been from the outset. And then Predators Gold. Staffordshire Knot, Jatara and Jimmy Desoy all close in behind. With five furlongs to go and three flights to jump. Meadows or West. Lead still. Stable companion Ballyburn who's now within three parts of a length to a length. Then Predators Gold edging the third from Staffordshire Knot. Jatara and Jimmy Desoy. Coming towards the second last. Middlesbrough West. Ballyburn almost on terms. Then Predators Gold. Jatara, Jimmy Desoy dropping out of contention. And off to the right of that flight. And colliding with the rail was Staffordshire Knot. Running round the home turn with one flight left. Middlesbrough West from Ballyburn now wound up to try and get on terms. Predators Gold on the outside of Jatara. As they straighten with two furlongs to race and one flight to jump. 
It's still Medizer West with the advantage. Challenging one out from the rail is Ballyburn. But pumped away to do so. Going on from in third, Jatara. And then Predator's Gold. And Ballyburn leads for the first time in the race. Mirazur West is quickly tied up. Jatara moves off in pursuit of the long odds on favourite Ballyburn. Who comes to the final flight. Up and over by four legs to Jatara. Tar jump by Predator's Gold. And then Mirazur West. It is another major milestone for the all-conquering Willie Mullins. As he becomes Irish Racing's winning most trainer. Ballyburn. And Paul Townend for the quick fire, grade one double along with Willie. Four in it now in the championship. Jatara second. Predators Gold and Midizer West come next. Ballyburn delivers once again another grade one for his CV. A bit harder work maybe than you might have anticipated today. Jatara in the end was the one who got closest to him. Midizer West played his part, made much of the running before folding ultimately in the home straight. But Don, you often hear it said that the very best, whether it's teams in, in a given sport or whatever, they still find mm. a way to get it done when they're not at their best. I don't think he was at his best today, but he still <laughs> has bagged another great one for he himself. He has, he has. Yeah, no, there were a few worrying moments just before we've joined them here, or actually here as well. He's just coming on the ride. But Mirzor West did travel well before that point, before they reached the crown of the home turn. And just for a few strides, you're wondering if Ballyburn was going to pick up and Paul Town had asked him to, but we joined it here. He's picked up. He's got momentum up now. He's gone clear of Mirrors or West. Jatara, she's run a big race in second. She's stayed on well. And she's kind of mounting a challenge of sorts. She just didn't jump the final flight well. Ballyburn flew it. She just hit the top of it and lost a bit of momentum. And that was the final nail in any chance she had. But Ballyburn, yeah, he's so classy. As you say, Gary probably wasn't at his best today. But he's gone and delivered again. Yeah, probably three to four lengths in it at the line.